So the OTS-9 is a brand new SMG which just released as a free DLC weapon in Season 4. You can unlock it for free with a weapon challenge in multiplayer or zombies and today I'll show you how to complete the challenge to unlock it easily and quickly. Now if you're trying to unlock it in Warzone instead, I've made a separate guide for that so feel free to check that out, there'll be a card on screen and a link in the description. So in this video I'm going to quickly explain the challenge, give the best class setup and game modes for this and then some quick tips to help you get the challenge done even faster. So make sure you stick around until the end of the video so you don't miss out on any important tips. I'll probably also have timestamps in the description too. Now once you unlock this weapon you may want to level it up or make a solid class setup with the new gun or unlock gold or diamond camo on the weapon and if that's the case I'll have some camo guides for this weapon, a guide on how to level up guns fast and a best class setup too hopefully so check those out again there'll be cards on screen and a link in the description if you guys are interested in any of that. Without further ado let's get into this guide. So the challenge can obviously be done in either multiplayer or zombies and both of these challenges differ from each other and it also the multiplayer challenge in Cold War this time actually differs from the Warzone one too so each game has a completely different challenge for it but just know that the progress between multiplayer and Warzone actually crosses over so if you've done some in Warzone you can do some in Cold War and they'll both count towards it whereas Zombies its progress is completely separate. So let's quickly talk about what the challenge is for multiplayer and Zombies and then we'll talk about the tips for each mode and then at the end we'll talk about which mode is best for completing this challenge as fast as possible. For multiplayer the challenge says you Using SMGs kill three enemies affected by your tactical equipment in 15 different completed matches. So this basically means that you need to kill three people who you've thrown your tactical equipment at and we'll talk about the best setup to use for that in a minute. That's literally all it is. And in Zombies the challenge says using SMGs kill 50 Tempests within two seconds of them reappearing after teleporting. Again that might sound a little bit daunting but we'll go through it so don't worry. Now quick note this needs to be 15 completed matches so if you leave the game early the progress will seem to count initially but if you come off the game the progress will reset so you must stay in the match until it finishes unlike warzone where you can generally leave early a lot of people will try and get out of doing this they'll leave the game early and then they'll come back to the comment section and say oh damn i wish i just stayed in it now because it's all reset don't mess up there just stay in the game until it finishes you'll actually save yourself a lot of time in the long run so what i'd obviously recommend in the normal way is to check your kill counted by checking the challenge progress bar in game so basically if you go on the menu click on edit next to your class hover over the ots 9 which is the weapon at the bottom of the list in the smg tab and you'd want to check this before the match to know what you're on and then obviously afterwards or in the game to see had it gone up but recently the game was updated so you won't actually see your progress for that match until it finishes so it's actually harder to know if you've done the challenge until you've completed the game that's when you'll know for sure whether it's gone up by one point or not but there is a guaranteed way as well as that to know whether the three kills you got counted and that's every time you kill an enemy who is affected by your equipment it will say something like plus 25 killed stunned enemy or something like plus 25 killed confused enemy. If it says you've killed an enemy that had a certain effect on them then that means you got the kill and it counted and if you get three of those it will count for that game and you just got to stay in that game until it finishes. So if you see this message after three separate kills you know that counted but just be aware you can't get an assist you have to get three kills because it also say like plus and then a certain number for the amount of score stun assist or like confusion assist or something like that if it says assist it doesn't count it has to be three full kills with the equipment affecting them so we'll quickly talk about the strategy for multiplayer and then we'll move on to zombies. So for multiplayer, the best mode you'll probably want to go into is the face-off mode because matches are normally less than five minutes, they're small maps, there's lots of enemies and it's easier to get kills and so on. But if you struggle to get the challenge done before the game ends, you might want to choose longer game modes like Nuketown, Hijacked, Free For All, ones like that. But if you're fine with face-off, that's probably the best mode to use. For your class setup, you're going to want to put on an SMG for the primary category, so you'll put on something like an MP5, Bullfrog, MAC-10, whatever you guys want, the SMG doesn't matter, put on whatever attachments you guys want, and then for the perks, you're going to want to put on something like Flak Jacket in Perk 1, so you can take less damage from enemy explosives and Molotov or Combat Bow Flames. In the second perk, you're going to want to put on Quartermaster to recharge your equipment every 25 seconds, because obviously we need to use lots of tactical equipment to get these kills. And in perk 3 I'd put on Gung Ho which allows you to use equipment while sprinting so you can get towards the enemies a little bit faster then chuck the tactical equipment and then kill them to get the challenge done. So in terms of the equipment I wouldn't put anything on for the lethal or at least don't use it and then for the tactical you want to put on in my opinion the decoy grenades. So a lot of people will probably put on stun grenades but the decoy grenades seem to have a much wider radius and it will affect more enemies easily as obviously even if the enemy's further away they can hear the sounds from the decoy grenade whereas with a stun grenade it has to be in a very specific radius if the enemy is outside of that radius it won't affect them but with the decoy grenade it seems to affect people at a much further distance so potentially you're getting more enemies that are affected and pretty much as soon as you throw the decoy in 
any direction. If there's any enemies generally in that area, they'll be affected by it. You get the kill, and then it will say, kill confused enemy. So if you're using the decoy grenade, it will say confused enemy. If you're using the stun grenade, it will say stunned enemy. So you'll see what I mean. If you add the decoy grenades, they're super easy, so don't miss out on those. That's the best tactical equipment to go for. What are my general tips for getting this done? A little bit faster in the game as well well first thing when you're spawned in throw your tactical equipment so for example the decoy grenade at the enemy or a high flow area of the map and immediately aim down sight at any visible enemies you want to wait a split second until the tactical equipment has actually affected them so you, like a brief pause you'll see it then like have its effect and then you want to shoot them as quickly as possible to get the kill now if the message saying killed confused enemy appears on your screen like i said before you've gotten one of the three necessary kills and you just want to repeat that twice more and if an enemy is looking at you while you're about to throw the equipment it can be useful to throw the equipment quickly duck behind cover to allow the equipment to activate and then pop back out to get the kill otherwise you might be shot while you're waiting for it to activate if you kill them too soon it won't count and obviously if you die in between then obviously that won't count either finally i think it's good just to be a little bit more aggressive when you can in the game to get these three kills and if you run out of decoy grenades just hide behind cover for 25 seconds let them recharge and then come back out and throw another decoy grenade and get the challenge done if you do that three times in one match you get one point towards the progress and if you stay in the game wait till it finishes and rinse and repeat 15 times in total you'll get the challenge done so that's how to do it for multiplayer but what about zombies the zombies challenge as i said says that you need to get 50 tempest kills within two seconds of them reappearing after teleporting and this is basically if you guys don't know the lightning reflexes medal so if you go to the medals tab you'll see there's a medal called lightning reflexes and it basically describes this challenge so it's exactly the same as the medal if you guys haven't come across tempest basically every now and then they'll kind of zip across the map they'll they won't move loads but they'll teleport from one area to another still within your range of vision but they might move like from the left to the right or from the right to the left or forward to backwards or wherever and basically as soon as they've teleported teleported from one area to another quickly you need to kill them within two seconds obviously so the class i would recommend is obviously you need to put an smg like the mp5 bullfrog mac 10 whatever you guys want i was using the ppsh but it doesn't really matter and i'd also put on the ring of fire field upgrade it's not essential but i think standing within the ring boosts damage and so it's easier to kill them quickly with this ring of fire so we'll talk about how to use that in just a second but in terms of the best map and mode i think outbreaks best because you probably have the most tempests although just be aware that the new zombies map Malda Toten does also have a few tempests near the start of the game so you can spawn in kill them and restart the game but this is probably more time consuming there's two of them at the start of the game and then if you go a little bit further to like round 10 or 15 and start to do the easter egg there's actually a few more tempests you can kill but i think that's probably still going to take longer than if you play outbreak so my advice would be to play outbreak and just go around looking for tempests now what tips can i give you when you're actually playing outbreak to get these tempest kills quickly so i think get as many kills as possible to get lots of essence when you first spawn in so obviously use the minimap to scout out enemies and then pack a punch your weapon as soon as possible to do more damage you want to pick up as much salvage as you can including like opening chests and breaking ether crystals around the map to upgrade your weapon at the weapon and armor station to increase your weapon damage you also want to look around for tempests on the map by driving in a vehicle they'll appear as red demon icons on the minimap but obviously you won't know until you're close whether it's a, a mangler or a mimic or a megaton or anything like that and if you can't find any of those tempests spawned in on the map then you might have to try and trigger them to spawn with certain objectives so for example if you open a golden chest that will sometimes spawn tempests not always but sometimes it will also if you hunt hordes they'll sometimes be there as well and also certain main objectives will trigger them to spawn as well so try and do some of the objectives to see if there's any more that spawn but if there's no tempest on the map after trying all of the above you want to warp to the next region as quickly as possible and try to look again for tempests around the map by driving around you will eventually find them i'm sure you'll find them by the second map if you haven't on the first so what about when you actually come across a tempest what do you do and how's the best way to kill them to get this challenge done well when you come across a tempest i think you should do some damage to lower its health quite a bit first and then wait until it teleports elsewhere and fire as soon as possible to kill it in under two seconds that's kind of my main tip You'll know if your kill counted because generally you'll earn a lightning reflexes medal as I said which is earned from killing a tempest in under two seconds after teleporting which is exactly what this weapon challenge requires. You can also check the menu to see if your challenge progress has gone up by one after getting a tempest kill. I've found occasionally that I won't always see the medal pop up but it will come up in the menu. So if you see the medal come up you've got it. If you don't see it 
check the menu you may not have it you may have it it just depends i'd also say that the ring of fire may be useful to kill the tempest quickly once it's teleported i.e you want to pop the ring of fire field upgrade quickly do a bit of damage to the tempest wait for the tempest to teleport while standing in the ring of fire and then shoot at it fast once it's teleported to kill it easily in under two seconds but obviously the ring of fire is not essential by any means it just might be helpful so that as soon as it spawned elsewhere you can quickly do more damage to kill it fast it sounds quite daunting this challenge but i'll be honest it is actually fairly easy to kill the tempest in under two seconds so i wouldn't worry about it but don't use the ammo mods like brain rot or anything like that as actually this risks turning the tempest to a friendly and that means you can't kill it and it's a waste of a tempest kill so don't use ammo mods like brain rot or anything like that or i don't think any ammo mods for that matter just pack punch the weapon and focus on trying to kill it so now let's talk about which mode is best for cold war i think in my opinion the multiplayer mode is best in terms of the challenge it's a little bit easier to do i think compared to getting 50 tempest kills within two seconds of it teleporting it will take a long time to do with the tempest obviously it's still easier if you watch this challenge guide and if you're playing zombies anyway then it's probably better to do it in that but if you've got the choice of both i think multiplayer will be slightly easier because you can quickly play a short game of face off get your three kills do the next game and keep doing it and it won't take too long to get the challenge done so i hope these tips helped if they did be sure to leave a like on the video it really helps me out so that other people can use the video too and feel free to subscribe to stay up to date with all my latest videos also feel free to check out my cold war camo guides for unlocking other new dlc weapons i'll also have a best class set up for the new ots smg and i'll also do a video on how to lock gold camo on it fast but if you want any specific camo guides i've got a playlist for that if you need help with getting any camos done on this new weapon but also i've got guides on how to level up your weapons fast and how to level up tiers fast on my channel and there's so much more as well and you can also visit the season 4 battle pass video to be entered into my cop points giveaway finally i've also made lots of guides recently on the brand new dlc 3 zombies map Mauda totem so feel free to check them out if you need but thank you so much for watching hope you find it useful and i'll see you guys all on the next video